One of the new controls that Visual Studio 2008 brings to us is the list view. Now, the list view control is really several different controls all rolled into one. There's a lot to see with this control. So today, we're just going to spend a little time introducing the control and, and covering the basics. We'll come back another day and do a presentation that goes a little bit deeper than we have time to go today. So what we're going to do today is put the control on the screen, show you some of the different presentations, and then spend a little time talking about how the data pager control works with this control. So first thing we want to do, of course, is put the control on the screen. And we're going to go down here and pick the list view. Next, we want to pick our data source. And normally when I do my development, what I do is I go ahead and use the object data source and, and use a three-tiered model. Today, all we're going to do is take a look at uh, how to use this with the database control. Uh, it's just a lot easier to do a demo directly to the database. Go ahead, select all the columns out of here, and click Finish. That gives us a data connection, uh, basically to an address list. Now we'll go in here and click the Configure List view, and you'll see what this gives us is the grid, a tiled view, very much like our old-fashioned friend, the, uh, the data list that we used to have, or we still have, um, a bulleted list view, a flow layout, and a single row. Uh, single row is going to put uh, a row per column instead of a row per row. We we'll go back here and just put it in grid view and click the OK button. And if we run this, this gives us your basic list view. Now, of course, this isn't going to do us a whole lot of good unless we can page it, because you know most of our grids need to be paged. So we're going to go in here, enable paging, and tell it to use the next previous pager. and also tell it to use the numeric pager. Uh, I like the next previous pager, so that's what we get to use. And we'll go put some uh, nice coloring in here for our next demo. And we'll hit the run button. And since I've only got 11 records in here, it's only going to page one time. It's automatically doing the disabling and everything for us. It's really nice. What if we want to page five records at a time? This is where things are a little bit uh, you know, goofy, maybe, you might say. Uh, because in order to do any kind of real control in this control, uh, it works a lot more like the repeater control uh, from 2005, where we actually have to go into uh, the ASPX source code and change some of the stuff there. So we're going to go in here and look in the layout template. For our data pager. And you'll see once I've selected the data pager here, I can go in here. Let's actually change it here. Page size. I change the page size to five. And now, when we run this, it'll do the grid view, but it'll show it uh, five records at a time. Now. So far, I haven't shown you anything you couldn't do in 2005. We're just using a new control to do it. But here's where things get a little bit interesting. Let's go back in here and reconfigure this to do tiled. Now, we could do tiled before, but we couldn't do tiled using a pager. As a matter of fact, I had a case where I needed a paged tiled control, a paged uh, list view control. And I had to roll the paging myself uh, back in those days. Uh, this was actually several years ago when I had to do this. Well, 
if I had this control, I wouldn't have had to do all that work. So we're going to go tile. We're going to enable paging. We're going to hit OK. Regenerate. And uh, actually, let me go back in here. I want the, uh, the colorful presentation. So let's go back and regenerate this. Uh, go with the professional layout here. And there's another property on the list view at this level that we can change. Column a group item count. So we can change this to two and now we get two columns. Or we can change it to four. And we get four columns that way. Uh, we're going to leave it at three. Now because we're at three we want to go change our page, and right now it's just going to display everything. Right Let's go ahead and run that just so you can see it. So you can look at our paging. Paging is set for something like 12 by default with this particular layout. So let's go back in here. We'll leave it at 3, but again, we're going to go back to our source view here look for our layout template and within our layout template look for our data pager and you'll see the page size is 12. Let's change that page size to 6 and go ahead and hit run. And that gives us a little bit better control over what we used to do with the list view. Well, I hope that's been helpful, and uh, we'll come back another day and talk a little bit about things like uh, sorting. Uh, there's some query parameter paging stuff in here that might be useful for uh, SEO purposes. Uh, really deep control, a lot going on here, and I think it's going to be a real benefit to uh, our coding.